Hey, Buck, did you tip over that plant? Are you supposed to be inside? Come on, let's get outside right here. There you go, Buck, let's get to it. Okay, let's play a game of where did Steve-O leave his Honda UTV? Where, oh where, do I leave my stuff? There it is. Alright, so I need to go check on the cow calves here quickly. Alright, open the gates. Don't, you're not coming out the gate. Hold on there. Hold on. Oh, go in there. All right, there you go. So we're just checking our uh, cows. You know, it'd be awesome if somebody would make a mod of a uh, cow calf. All you'd have to do is make a smaller calf version of the cow. Just have it in the pasture or something like that. Have it uh, work with seasons, so when the cows are supposed to be uh, usually dropping calves and everything, you'd start having calves and they would slowly grow. Seems like an easy mod to make, but that's a way above my skill level. Alright, like always, Jim needs us, so we are going to head over there. We're going to take our old Ford. This is a Ranger, so it's an F-150 Ranger package, so in other words, a Ranger. Just love this old thing. Old gas guggler, but it's good to drive around. So the farmers around here have really been harvesting, so... Uh, of course, our crops are still, a lot of them are in the field. I still have a, one field of corn. Jim has a field, well, Jim has multiple fields to do, so he begged us to come help, so I'm gonna postpone harvesting my corn another day. All right, we're gonna pull in here and Jim's pretty sure he wants to harvest corn. Of course, that would be the obvious thing he needs to do. He wants us to start greasing up the harvester, get that ready, uh, also fill up the grain cart and the semis. Uh, I think we're going to take this bad boy today, the 9510, and get all the semis. Oh yeah, and I have to unload the semis. So I'll get these started greasing up on the tractors and the count harvester. All right, we'll take this uh, tractor over there, fill it up with diesel. Oh man, he's got everything parked in front of his diesel tank. What sense does that make, Jim? All right, will this hose reach? No. Oh well, guess I'm not filling this up. Alright, so we're going to head this down to his next field. I think he said he wants to work on the field down the road a little ways. Of course, after we get this plot down there, Jim will have to come pick us up. And then he wants us to unload the semis. I think they're still up there on the hill. We left them out on the field. You see, we still have a partial load on this uh, this old tractor here. Whoo! Whoa! Uh, I don't. There is nowhere to put this tractor over here. Uh, Jim didn't tell me this. I'm gonna have to back this up on this old tree road to get it off of the highway here. Old logging road? I don't know what that is. 
it says do not enter so we're just going to just enter the grain cart alone tractor will not be entered there we go oh tractors in their fence there we go just perfect All right, looks like Jim's here. We're gonna go get a ride with him. Jim, why didn't you tell me uh, I couldn't even drive into the field? Grain cart. Oh, I should have known. Oh. Uh, well, uh, I guess I was the one that planted that field. You're right, Jim. I should know everything. Uh, which bin do you need these uh, trucks unloaded in? Alright, the large bin. Alright. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna get these trucks started up here. Start the Ford up. Of course it starts up. Oh, the old cat start that thing up. Oh, and it starts up easily too. That's is always a benefit. Of course this is a really weird autumn so it's uh, not very chilly out it's uh, t-shirt wearing weather there's not many days in Oregon you can wear a t-shirt uh, harvesting corn all right so we're gonna get this old uh, Ford so this is always a little tricky when you're going down this big hill right here gotta go nice and slow you don't want to go too quickly traffic they'll just come up from nowhere Ooh. the problem is it's kind of a blind spot like right here so you gotta really stick your nose out I mean you can't even hardly tell somebody's coming until it's almost too late you're almost in the on the highway they just don't like going on to this road there so if you didn't know Jim uh, set up a new uh, grain bin here Crane set up, helped him build that. And of course, he didn't open up the gate for me, like always. Gotta open that up, get off the highway quickly. Alright, try to get this on. All right, what you got to do, you got to pull forward, get onto the scale here, get your weight. All right, we are 60,000 pounds. Then you back up. There you go. Now we'll unload. Ooh, before I get that running in that pit, I got to start this leg up here quick. Start to dry her up. We will make sure it's going in the correct bin here. Alright, looks like we're going in the correct bin. Alright, go down here. Really like these side ladders going up the bin. It's so much easier than going up these things. These things are horrible going up there. So just more, just easier putting, uh, going up and down the bins, especially if you have to go up them all day long. So now you have to get your weight. You gotta write that down. So now we're at 16.2. Write that down in your little, the log book there. All right, so now that's done. Now we can, uh, ooh. I don't know where I'm gonna park this truck down there. I really need to start harvesting, bring the combine down, and uh, have some area for the semis to park. We'll have to figure something out. Guess I'm gonna have to park this on the side of the road for right now. Just leave the blinkers on. We are right on the side of the road, so we might have to load right there, especially at first. All right, Jim just dropped me off. This thing shut off? Uh-oh. Not good. 
So we're gonna unload this here quickly. Hopefully it's not out of fuel. We still got air for the brakes, so let's get going. Man, this thing just drives so easy. It just got so much power in this old cat. Take this hill nice and slow. Don't. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The brakes aren't good in this cat, though. I can tell you that. Alright, so now we need to unload this thing here quickly. So, the only thing bad about this being this trailer. Pup is really hard to back up, so having to back this up after you get your weight is a little bit more tricky, especially when it's loaded. Uh-oh. Yep. I don't... So that is not overweight, so don't don't look at that. That's... that is obviously not calibrated. All right, we'll unload this there. All right, now that that's unloaded, we'll get this semi back to field. Probably have to park it on the side like the other one. And uh, hopefully we can finally start harvesting. All right, let's get this thing started up. So Jim's gonna drive the harvester. I'm going to be driving this big beast down there. Uh, I tried to talk Jim into not driving with the head down there, but he seemed pretty intent on driving with it. A little bit worried. Jim's a little, let's just say, ballsy. He, he will... Uh, See, I mean, he's just driving down that highway. I mean, these highways are narrow. Damn, I can't even keep up with him. Now he's flying down the highway. Tried to get him to trailer that head. He, he just refused to do it. I mean, now he's going around that turn. I mean, somebody could get hurt. Jim's crazy surprised we still haven't seen any vehicles so I was just thinking I don't I don't think that 12 row head will get into his uh, gate here I don't know what what we're gonna do at least he's being slow around the uh, trucks here Oh yeah, Jim, what are you going to do now? Probably should have trailered the head. Alright, I don't know how Jim did that. He did it some neat little trick and just got that thing... Un what, what are you doing? We're not unloading, Jim. But he got it in that uh, little gate, which I'm pretty impressed. I was hoping he would probably cut out, like, uh, basically a place to put the tractor and all that stuff. Ooh, I'm running over corn. Don't tell Jim. Don't tell Jim. We gotta open up the tarp on this old Brent. Man, Jim's just taking off. He's all the way down there already. Gotta catch up to him. I don't know how he's gonna want to unload on me here, but we'll see. With his big hopper, I mean, shoot, maybe Jim can make it all the way around. I don't know. Forgot this fence is so close to the, the field here. Definitely got every last acre in this field. Probably getting a little bit too close. You're gonna get a cob through the windshield here. Jim's doing a good job getting every last piece of corn. I mean, he's pretty good at driving that old harvester. Oh, you left a plant or a couple of years here, Jim. Don't worry, Jim. I'm a good grain cart harvester driver. I'll run these over for you.
Wow, Jim's gonna make it all the way around this field to start out with. Pretty impressive. And he's even starting on this second headland here. And I was worried about where Jim was gonna unload on me and now he's already going around the field once. Oh, there comes on his flashers. He's probably 75, 80% full. Better unload on, unload him before he gets to the corner there. Unloading him now. Now he's gonna turn really quickly. Yep, almost hit that post there real close all right so I'm gonna go take this down so basically don't really want to uh, drive this one I like my uh, the new uh, 8R Jim said to basically make sure this is all cleared out so we're gonna make sure this is cleared I don't know he said something's coming I don't know what he's talking about but he said something's coming here uh, I don't understand what he's talking about. To the field? Uh, I don't know. Jim sometimes is hard to understand. Alright, this is the rig I want to be driving right here. The new rig, of course. Got both grain carts in the field. I think after Jim comes around right here, we should be able to uh, bring the semis in the field. Maybe we'll just keep them out there. I don't know. We'll see. Messing around with my drone and now Jim needs unloaded. Alright, I gotta open up this tarp here. Already have a partial load on me, so we will unload Jim here quickly. Jim wants to uh, unload on the go there. This uh, grain cart is so much easier to drive. Articulating tractors work great for, you know, in the mud, pulling big tillage equipment. I just don't like driving them. Alright, we are just about full. We're going to go unload on the highway here quickly. Ooh, better make sure I put all my flashers on. That's the worst thing about this. Jim doesn't believe in backup cameras, so I have no idea if somebody's waiting on me behind me or not. Alright, start filling them up. Already got a partial load in our back semi right there. So I don't know, I, I think I'm going to turn them semis around and start unloading them from the other direction just so I can uh, see the traffic coming because most of the traffic comes behind the grain cart there and uh, that way I can see them and uh, the semi driver should be able to see the other way for me so here I guess they can see this way but now they have to turn around with full load so isn't the most convenient for them so it's probably easier for them to just go with a full load towards the bins. 
Alright, so now the tricky part is to turn around. Yeah, it's easy with this big rig. Uh, looks like Jim's ready to go the up and down rows. Alright, we're moving these uh, trucks to the other side like I said I was going to do. You just have to turn around in this guy's field. Not a big deal. Just don't tell him that I'm turning around in his field, okay? Of course, when I was moving the trucks, Jim filled up already. I have to go unload him quickly. Alright. We'll let Jim unload in us here. So he had to cut a little pass like this, so have enough room. And Jim said make sure everything is out of the way from the gate. I don't I don't know what he's talking about. It's not making any sense. Make sure everything is out of the way. What else is gonna be coming here? No, he said must be something coming. I don't know what he's talking about. They come to the field. Jim doesn't make much sense sometimes. Alright, I'll get out of Jim's way here. Don't know. And I guess I'll make sure everything's out of the way of the gate. Well. The gate's clear. What the heck? Look at what we got coming down the road here. What the heck is this? Oh man. The harvester looks brand new. Platte Valley implements. Where the heck are they going? Wait. It's slowing down. What the heck? Oh, got another vehicle coming down the road right there. What? They're coming in the field? What? <laughs> this is crazy. Jim, Jim must have a demo coming. Yep. Pulling right into this field. Oh, wow. Now this thing is nice. So apparently we got a huge demo coming here. So wow. Wow. Oh wow. All right. Look at this beast. Uh, 8900 Lexion. Woo! Terra tracks. Look how good that track looks. Mm. Mm. So Jim said once they get this unloaded and they basically get it set up, is I can run this harvester. I don't know. I mean, what did I do right for Jim to want me to run this harvester? So I'm going to let them get that unloaded. Jim looks like he is loaded already, so we'll get him unloaded and running. All right, so they gave me a quick tutorial here. Uh, Got to unfold the header. It's kind of neat how it unfolds. A little bit different. It's like Jim's going away, so uh, they set the combine or the harvester for uh, corn already, so it's all set and ready to go. Uh, let's see where we want to cut in. I think we'll cut in about right here. Looks good. We'll put that up. We'll turn on the separator here. I guess I have to unfold the harvester. This thing is brand new. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. Now we'll turn on the separator. Start running this thing. Well, there it goes. Ooh, this thing smells new in this cab. Oh, look at all that grain coming in. This thing is nice. Ooh, nice combine here. 
This thing really uh, goes through the corn. So I know the dealership thinks they could sell Jim a new uh, harvester, but I know it. I, he just fixed up his old harvester, so I don't really think he's anywhere close to getting another harvester, but oh well. Dealerships are always trying to sell, and I think they're just taking this around, getting people used to the new colors. You guys will have to let me know. Uh, do you like these colors, or do you like the old colors of Jim's Harvester? To me, I think uh, the old colors of a Class Combine Harvesters are a little bit better looking than this green, but it might just be because I'm not used to the green yet. Class uh, ended up changing back to their original colors. They have uh, European colors, if you want to call it. Going to be able to get great time with both of these harvesters running in this field. So Jim's running over there. Jim definitely has a bigger uh, grain tank than I'd have on this harvester. This grain tank is big but it's nothing compared to what Jim has on his harvester. He has an aftermarket version, I forget what he calls that, but that thing is giant. I'm surprised he doesn't have axle problems because usually that's a lot of extra weight on a harvester. Jim's harvester is set just right. You can see him, he is flying through that corn right there. Pretty sure he's going faster than what we're going, but we're not set correctly, so you just heard we went to 50% in here. Jim's still harvesting, so... I don't know, I think we're gonna get our little piece done before him, but I'm pretty sure he has a bigger chunk of land over there, more uh, corn to harvest at least. Oh, there's our 80%. This corn is doing a little bit better. We are doing 210 bushels per acre. Pretty good for this area. This harvester definitely holds its fair share. We're going above uh, 400 bushels there. Man, and we keep climbing, so we are probably going to get over 500 bushels in this uh, tank here. That's a lot. Think about it, it's almost half of a semi-load. Might be by the time we are full. Good thing we got two grain carts on this field, because we're going to need it. Man, the grain cart operator had to uh, back up and readjust, because this auger is giant. I mean, just look how long that auger is. That auger is huge. So we filled up that grain cart. Looks like Jim's full over there. Alright, so we are just getting a last little bit here starting to worry because I don't know if we have enough uh, grain capacity on this field so uh, if you see one of them grain carts over there is completely full the other one's almost full or might be able to take one load not from Jim but maybe from this harvester from this demo harvester uh, our trucks I'm pretty sure are full they might take uh, one load but we are kind of down men so all I have is uh, me and Jim and one grain cart operator and that's it. So we're just kind of waiting around. We don't really have no one to go unload the tr semis. So. And we're getting 200 bushel corn, so we're behind. We are down a, what, three men, four men maybe on this operation. So we are low man. I'm above 80% already. Looks like uh, somebody missed a, a lone straggler right here. I'll get the shame straggler. And I 
think I'll just start right on the other side here. And this thing will get up and go. Push that throttle ahead, just wants to fly down this road or down this in this field. We are getting, we are above 80% there. Looks like uh, we are just about done with this little sliver right here. I don't know, we might have to keep some of this grain. We're definitely gonna have to keep it in the grain carts, but one of these harvesters may have to uh, stay full tonight. Uh-oh, Jim's coming down this way and I'm gonna meet him head on here. We're gonna miss, it's barely missed right there. We won't even have a roll of shame right here. That's kind of nice. We are full. All right, grain cart's full. Finish his final roll right now. This should be the last. I think I heard Jim said he's back, he's done. Done with his little pass. Yeah, this I have to talk Jim into getting this harvester because this thing is nice. And we're gonna have to figure out where we're gonna put all this grain for this night. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later here in Oregon. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.